Hey there, welcome to another video. In this video, we'll learn about GraphQL in our Remix app. So you will learn how to send requests to Shopify backend and read some data using GraphQL. GraphQL is the language for Shopify API. and It has REST API too, but Shopify recommend you to use GraphQL because it is faster and a lot of like more things that they say. Okay, cool. Um, it has a lot of example. You can start from admin GraphQL and there are a lot of example in their website using PHP, Python, Ruby or whatever language you select and it will tell you how you will use it. But in Remix, it is different. So let's see uh, where we can use Remix and GraphQL. If I go to my code and this is my code, my um, code editor and my app is running. You can see there is a GraphQL URL. If you open this URL, it will give you a GraphQL playground. In here, you can send different types of GraphQL query and Shopify will respond you. This is the playground because um, you will not test your data here because that is difficult. Every time you bring a changes here and you go back to your app and then you say, oh, I don't have the data. Instead, send your query here, um, test this, play with this. Once you're happy, move it to your app. This is the nicest place. In here it is currently running and you can change the you can change the version um, you always always stick with the latest version and this is your store and this is the app one more thing that you have to know is the scope when you're sending requests or writing a GraphQL query in here to read certain data for example orders you must have the um, access um, for that specific data if you don't have access to the customer, you cannot read it. So you always have to uh, make sure you have the correct scope. A lot of people um, run their GraphQL query and they get error, but they don't have the scope or the access. So where do you change the scope? In your app.taml, um, in here, you can see we have only one scope of writing product. You can go to a full list of different scope and put them here. But if your app is having more scope than you need, Shopify review will not let you publish that app. So it, it will just ask you why you need this information. If you're reading customer, you have to know why you are doing that. You cannot just list all the scopes in here. For now, let's read uh, some basic information, like read product. If you can write product, you can definitely read product. So that is something you have to know. Um, but read product is uh, something also you can add in here. So we can read and write products since we have the right. So let's go back to GraphQL and do some GraphQL query. For example, you can open up these brackets in here and this is the query or you can go to the um, documentation and check out like these are the queries that you can send in the GraphQL and this is an example. Let's grab this one and put it in here for test. Product first, it is going to read first product and it's going to show the title. Let's run it and you can see the first product. You can say let's uh, display first 10 of them, oops, zero. First 10 product and you can run it, it's going to give you 10 product. And if you want more information, for example, you want to display the ID of the product, it is going to give you the ID. But this ID is different than the ID that you have seen because this is the GraphQL ID and Shopify will give you this because this is how Shopify will talk to GraphQL. And you can also paste the price, but sometimes you get some error. Let me show you what does it mean. For example, price is nothing, like price does not exist. There is a price range version two. You can click on this, it will select price version two, but you might see an error, something like this. Um, in these cases, you can just open the bracket and find out it might have more properties for example in here it has most more properties but if you are here you can press uh, come in this space yes it will put this intelligence and give you more options for example uh, max variant price okay this one is also uh, having more properties you can come inside of this and and click the come in this space again or control space i think on pc and you can get the amount now let's run it and this is how you can get the price of these products uh, you want to see the currency you can do that here currency code let's run it it should be australian dollar something like this now this is just one example uh, you can you have the option of putting um, variables in here at the bottom this is where you define your variable what could be a variable you could say like give me this product a 
product with the ID of this. That way you will pass it as a variable here. Um, there are some example probably in the um, documentation. I'm not going to go through that, but you get the idea of how graph will works. Once you are happy with this, you can copy it, put it in your app and use it. And I will come back to this, um, to the Remix API in the next video. There is a documentation that I show you for billing um, and also some other resources, which is very important for you to know. Remix, Shopify is, I think, investing a lot in it. So it is very good to know the documentation around Remix and how much Shopify worked and added some more feature to Remix specific. Um, okay, cool. This is GraphQL and the basic and you have more options. So I think that's all you have to know about GraphQL. In the next video, we will see how you can run it in your Remix um, app and learn more about the different APIs that Shopify provides for the Remix. Yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.